are some of the top treatments that we recommend at Faces Plus to delay or prolong aging or even reverse aging? And, and when do you start these? I would say probably one of the most important things to start to consider, even in your 20s, is periodic Botox. You know, you can look at your parents and see what their wrinkles look like around their eyes, in the middle of their forehead, in their forehead. And, you know, you're going to look like one of them, and you might even have similar facial expressions. So guess what? That's what's going to happen to you. So a simple way of trying to reduce the frequency of that damage is a drop of Botox even when you're younger. So I would say Botox as a maintenance agent is very important and very helpful. What else? We always look at Faces Plus at three main things that people come in here for. So at any age, people come in here with sun damage, volume loss, and laxity. Now they're all interrelated, but when people come in and they start asking about what are the things we can do to prevent our aging or delay our aging, we can really evaluate their skin type, determine what their response to the sun is going to be. You know, a darker skinned individual is going to respond to the sun with melasma and hyperpigmentation responses. A lighter skinned individual is going to respond to the sun by thinning of the skin and extensive wrinkles. So these are things that we can begin to address at younger ages with excellent skincare products, good facials, and lasers that are selected not because it's the only laser we have, but on the basis of the severity of your sun damage and the type of sun damage and the way you manifest it. So there are many opportunities to, to maintain and prevent sun damage. But when patients come in and they say, I had that laser and I go, when? Five years ago, I kind of go like, okay, I'm a statue in Italy. I got sandblasted, but they put me back in front of the Trevi Fountain. So what do you think my hands and my face and my beautiful white marble is going to look like in three months? It's going to start to look dark and eventually sooty again. So it's an ongoing maintenance. There are exceptions. CO2 and erbium ablative lasers coming on the market called J-plasma. So they are going to change the skin for very long-term results. They can be very effective in patients with very extensive wrinkling and age spots. What about fillers? Well, two fillers have some biologic effects, and these biologic effects wind up stimulating the blood supply, producing collagen, enhancing the elastin fibers, Sculptra in particular, and Radius in a dilute form tend to actually have biologic properties that are anti have anti-aging effects. We don't know if this is cumulative. We don't know if this leads to long-term effects. Nothing's been proven in that regard. So when it comes to aging, another thing to consider when one is trying to refill areas of loss in the face is to consider certain types of fat graft. One of the ways that we fat graft patients is different than anywhere else in the world, unless those doctors have been here to learn how to do this, or they've really studied our papers that have been published throughout the medical literature. And that's using your own fat. But we don't just take fat and inject it like a filler, it looks pretty. We actually analyze the face, determine where the areas of fat has been lost, where there are pre-existing or early bone losses, and we address these by a structural fat graph that produces a volumetric effect, or a structural effect. However, the skin and the fat that is underneath the skin is different than the fat that is deep to the muscles. The fat under the skin is really almost like fertilizer for the skin. It produces dermal fibroblasts from these adipose-derived stem cells that come from the dermal white adipose tissue. So that's a support structure. So we replace that with a microscopic type of fat graft that looks almost like pureed applesauce. And lastly, what about the epithelium or the covering of the skin and the dermis? Well, that also responds to the sun with thinning and it begins to lose its substance and its elasticity. So we reverse that by using something called cell optimized nano fat. So when you hear of nano fat, it's not one type of product. There are different types and the ones that have more cells are more effective. When we look at ways to maintain and prevent and delay aging, increasingly we're using more and more regenerative approaches that your own tissues 
your own blood that have growth factors and stem cells to resupply those tissues that you're losing as you age.